For your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO, expect more. Well, not as cool of temperatures for tonight than what we woke up to this morning. We could see some stronger thunderstorms movement for tomorrow, as well as some heavier rainfall expected, especially Friday night. I want to start things off on a very gorgeous note. This is a, a sunrise picture submitted by Carol Toddy of Bloomfield, Iowa. We've got the sun rising in the background, and then we have uh, beautiful colors and they some, some alto cumulus clouds. So thank you, Carol, for sending that in. Really pretty colors out there. It's all a gorgeous day, a lot of sunshine. We're all going to start to see those clouds rolling in as we're heading into the late evening hours and into the overnight hours because of that storm system is going to be bringing us some rain for tomorrow. But right now, uh, mostly sunny skies at the Kirksville Regional Airport, 64 degrees with calm winds across the area. We've had some breezy conditions the last few days. The winds are pretty settled right now. 60 degrees in Ottumwa, equally as nice winds are out of the west at around 6 miles per hour. Over the next 12 hours, temperatures are only going to be falling into the 40s instead of as we woke up to about 29. 30 degrees this morning. In fact, uh, rain chances we could actually start to see just a little bit of activity, especially into southeast Iowa. 45 degrees at 7 a.m. on your Friday morning. Here's the future cast, and again, here's those rain showers moving in. Notice how they are centered right now over south. Uh, southeastern portions of Iowa. They will continue to advance eastward and affect northeast Missouri as we're heading into the early afternoon hours, and that will continue into the evening as well. The evening hours, that's when we're going to get uh, some stronger thunderstorms is going to be moving in uh, from the southwest. So again, Milan and Macon actually could see some strong to severe thunderstorms. The reason for that is the Storm Prediction Center does have them actually in a slight risk of severe weather. The rest of us are in a marginal risk for some stronger thunderstorms. But again, I'm going to keep a very close eye on this because the slight risk actually keeps kind of moving, inching eastward, and that could affect us with some severe uh, thunderstorm activity as we're heading into tomorrow night. Expected rainfall amounts, well, we do need the rain. We're still uh, well below normal for this time of the year. As far as the rainfall, we are we could possibly be receiving an inch, an inch and a quarter if those thunderstorms hold together and stay with us, okay? So if they fall apart, of course, we are going to get a little bit lesser amounts, but right now, a good inch or so of rainfall. 45 degrees as your overnight low for tonight with cloudy skies. Winds are out of the southeast at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for your Friday, TGIF, 60 degrees with cloudy skies and some thunderstorms continuing to push through. Those winds will be gusting up to about 28 miles per hour, so we'll see some strong winds as well. The rain continues on Saturday, slightly cooler, 56 degrees. We'll dry things out for Sunday with highs back up into the 60s, continuing with near normal temperatures Monday and Tuesday, and then the overnight lows into the 30s. 30s and 40s. Of course, anytime, check us out 24 7 at heartlandconnection.com. So we'll be watching very closely mm -hmm. on monitoring some strong to severe thunderstorms tomorrow, especially tomorrow night. Okay, good to know. Thanks, Teresa. You're welcome. We'll be right back.